Hey guys, it's Young Wealth. Now today I'm making a video on why I will never stay my ICP for eight years. Now I'm not making this video to FUD anyone that's actually staking for eight years. I'm not making this video to go against anyone that's making or staking for eight years because I believe it's a great, great idea and I believe it's gonna be an investment and a long-term investment that's gonna be very profitable for those that are actually staking for that long, right? Now we're gonna get into the reasons. Before we get into the reasons, right, let's actually go on the price point. We can see that on the day, even though despite Bitcoin being at 57k very down right now, ICP is actually tearing a little bit and it's actually up 7% today. So we are actually holding up very strong throughout this actual bear run we're actually going in right now. Now you got to understand, we're going to break down and get into why I would never stay my ICP for eight years right now. I got a multitude of reasons, right? Now, I know how parabolic um icp is gonna go in 2025 and that's where my first point begins right i know how parabolic is gonna go in 2025 i do not want to miss out on selling the tops now of course you guys are probably not um staking all your icp but i know a lot of you guys are staking all your icp for eight years which is no problem with i think it's a great idea not financial advice but the re the reason I have is like I rather be liquid so I can sell the top and guess what I'm gonna do when I sell the top. Now of course I can't sell the exact top, but I'ma sell damn near close to it or under it right now. What am I gonna do when I sell these high positions? Even if I don't time it fully perfectly, I'm actually gonna buy back into the bottom. And when you buy back into the bottom, considering these altcoins usually drop like 85 to 95 percent, let's just be conservative and say it drops 80 percent, right? Well, I've made a ton of return. I've made ton, a ton more ICP. Let's just say that, for instance, right, I was holding. Okay, we're holding 2,500 ICP, right? $2,500 in ICP. Okay, so that's 186 ICP, right? Remember that number, guys. 186 ICP, right? Now, we know the price is going to go like around $90 to $100. If you're asking me, $100 is where I'll probably sell. I don't know we can go to $150, but I'd rather sell near the top than try to sell this up and fail. So, I'm going to say I'm taking profits at $100, right? eighteen thousand dollars okay that's eighteen thousand dollars now remember that 186 number right 186 itp eighteen thousand dollars right so now we know that and let's just say it does go to 150 dollars and that's the top now from there if it drops 80 percent right 80 percent of that eighteen thousand six hundred profit we just made remember 80 percent is 0 0.2 so that would mean the price point would be thirty dollars okay now, I know that sounds unrealistic to a lot of you guys, but these bear markets get real brutal, guys. We can possibly drop that low again. So, with our 18... Th now, I know there's going to be comments saying, bro, ICP is never dropping to $30, bro. Guys, that's only an 80% drop from um, $150, and usually altcoins tend to drop 95%. So, now we know that it's like we can do the math so if you had eighteen thousand profit that you sold at a hundred dollars a hundred dollars right and it actually dropped 80 percent from 150 dollars well that is actually gonna give you a return of around 440 icp repeat it's gonna give you a return of a 440 icp so damn near like almost a 4x okay so you've already 4x your icp bag within the space of a year right just because you sold at a smart point and you brought back in at the bottom now i know there's a risk with it because there's a risk that we don't hit 30 dollars but if we even if we just hit 40 dollars you still made more of a more of a return than what i would have made if i was staking it for eight years now i'm not saying staying for ages is bad but it's like you don't have any control over that money so you cannot sell the exact you probably won't sell the exact top unless we actually time it perfectly with a next bull run but you got to understand in eight years time that's 2032 right anything after 2030 in my humble opinion anything can happen i don't know if crypto is going to be around that long i can't i cannot guarantee crypto will be around in 2032 but if it is around all the people that 
was thinking for eight years that you're gonna be very rich. Now with that 620 ISP we have, now guess what? Let's just say the price point goes to $300 in the next bull run with that 300 ICP. Now we've turned 2.4K into $186,000. Now imagine if you had double that, you had 4,000 invested. Now you've turned two, you've turned 4K into around, I wanna say $360,000. So this is one of the reasons why I prefer to be liquid because I know when I'm liquid, I, it gives me the ability to actually sell the tops and buy the bottoms. And when I actually sell these tops and buy these bottoms, what it's going to allow me to do is take this profit and invest in something that's more stable. Like I'd rather say, you know, I'm going to invest into real estate and hold that for eight years than hold a crypto for eight years. I'm sorry, like I trust real estate and gold a lot more than cryptocurrency and any of these things when it comes to holding for eight years. Now, I do believe crypto will be around, but that is a 50-50 if you ask me. I feel like it's a gamble. I'm just being honest with you guys. Like A lot of you can might disagree in the comments, but I do feel like saying um, crypto is going to be here in eight years' time, it's a 50-50. Because we know the USA don't want a crypto to be here. They're trying to actually destroy the cryptocurrency and blockchain. They're trying to destroy a lot of these things. But I do believe it can stand the test of time. But I'm not 100% guaranteeing that it's going to be around in eight years time. That is the reason why I prefer to be more liquid. So I'm in control of my bags. Not to fund anyone that's holding it for eight years. I do feel like it is a smart investment. Because not only is it going to give you a return. But it's also not going to allow you to touch your money and take out your money for petty spendings or spending it on liabilities for those next eight years or either way like your money's not being touched and it's probably most likely increasing in value so i had to make this video breaking down why I would actually never stake my ICP for eight years. I'd rather be the person that actually sells the top and actually buys back in lower and then when I buy back in lower I have damn near four times as much ICP because we know that in the bear market ICP will drop at least 75 percent if you drop 75 percent that's around 40 to 42 dollars so at the end of the day like these are the times you capitalize okay like now if you actually hold ICP liquid and you actually want to do the same thing. It's not financial advice, but like it's very smart. When you're talking about coins that can actually last two more bull runs, when you're talking about coin that can still be here in 2030, like it's very smart to say, you know, I'm going to sell at a nice price. And when it goes all the way back down to the bottom, when everyone is in full fear, I'm going to buy back in. I'm going to actually scrape some more ICP and actually squabble me some more, gobble some more up. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Now we have that out of the way. Let's just take a look at the price points and the yearly and stuff like that. And then we're going to end the video there. But shout out to everyone that watched. If you if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and also hit the subscribe button. Now, as you can see, we are only down 1.94% on the past seven days. And on the monthly, we are down around 22%. But guess what, guys? On the yearly, we're still holding strong above 136% which is very good if you ask me because when you look at that chart it's literally stabilizing it's literally firing resistance and you don't really want to go out to ten dollars even though i don't do things in the long term it can go to ten dollars i'm talking about the next three four months because bitcoin is on a, a mean downtrend right now but i do believe that this coin will recover and go to peaks of like 100 or 150 dollars so with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, also turn on post notification bells. And also, if you want to be part of my Discord, be sure to join the Patreon. The Patreon link will be in the description. With that being said, it was Young Wealth, and I'm signing out with another video. Peace. And also, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I know a lot of people would disagree with this video, but remember, guys, it's not a video to scare you out of your eyes, your your stay for eight years. It's just a video giving my opinion on what I'm doing. I'm not saying copy me or actually go against me i'm just saying you know what i'm making a video giving you guys a documentary on what how i actually move in the markets not telling you guys what to do not telling you guys to do what i do so with that being said i'm signing out peace